What's up guys, I'm Dane, this is Great Dane Gaming, and today we are playing Bastion, and we are looking for the final core. Let's get up. Let's see. Yes. This is the weapon you know I've been waiting than for. Having a sling a pistol in a fight. Having Heaven two. two. Savage things lurking at every turn. Good thing pin cushions can't see where they're shooting. This is That's a much own. more effective way to handle the those. The welcoming committee scrambled to attention. Didn't expect the kid so soon. They shouldn't have let the guard down. Getting that core was one thing. Getting out's gonna be another. He digs his way out of the clearing, but the wilds won't let him go without a fight. Hmm. It's interesting that they just like teleport us essentially there. When wallflowers survive the calamity, it toughened them up. When uh, otherwise they. Always. Same goes for the kid. I always uh, have ways in and out. So not sure why they did it differently there. Best take it real slow when pin cushions are afoot. Let's start going. All too easy to lose one's way out in the wilds. Yeah, nothing down here, really, at all. Oh wait, no. Nope. Oh, they're. I think they're just showing us setting or like letting us come and see where we're trying to get to which makes sense Slinger Jawson's old outpost is all that's left of him Let's go with the whirlwind. A handful of windbag shipments made it out this far. seen the last of them. That's upgrade materials for the pistol. Don't ever turn your back on a pin cushion. Which is good because that's... The kids roused up half the wilds by now. It's when the weapon really gets awesome. It's when it's... Get a couple upgrades in it. You'll see what I mean. Then the kid gets the feeling he's being watched. Not by me, by a lunkhead. Lunkheads ain't fond of two legged animals. Ah, these things are a pain in the 
but at least ah, without certain weapons. Once uh, one of the upgrades you can get for the pistols is uh, that will penetrate that armor on the front of those guys makes them much easier to deal with. The wilds already reclaimed this place. He's anxious to get back. Wait, is there something I missed it's over here? Hardly any signs of the old Jawson camp. I like this, the, this song. After all, he's got the final core. His journey's over, right? Well, no, it ain't. Not, Not by, by a long, long shot. shot. <sighs> Kid knows something's up when we ain't there to give a warm welcome. See, Zolf and I were just wrapping up a heated discussion. Zolf can barely muster the words. The calamity failed, he says, but I will not. And with that, Zolf leaves us here, alone. Fractured mind. What happened, Rux? Ask about the inter interaction with Zolf. Are you hurt? What happened back there? Zolf cursed the city. Cursed the bastion. Cursed me. Said he was going home. Mm-hmm. Ask the, uh... When Zolf it. got through reading that journal, he just snapped. Started smashing up the monument till I tried to stop him. Well. Zolf banged up the monument pretty bad. <laughs> but there's a way to put it back together. The shards. We're gonna need all of them to nurse the bastion back to health. Alright, let's... Get an upgrade. Takes a lot of moving pieces to make a dependable sidearm. Okay. I think it's it's the next upgrade. Yeah, it doesn't tell us what they are. But the next one that really turns pistols into something special. Um let's go back to the machete for a while. Um and we'll go hand grenade. Want to stay fun. alive in the wilds? Pack a pair of pistols and a good blade. Yeah, that's what I always say. Uh, th this is uh, kind of the setup. The city brought the shards to the wilds. Now the kid's gonna bring them back. The machetes and the pistols are kind of the setup that I played most of the game through. You know, once I got to this point, when I first After played Zolf's through it. little episode, Kit sets off in search of shards. First stop, Jawson Bog. You'll get lost in that bog, I told the kid, and I won't be able to guide you back. It's interesting how... Well, I let him go. What else could I do? What could any of us do? It's interesting how this game alludes to uh Zolf put us in a real bind. Hurt the bastion bad. Certain things that they don't ever really explain. Like how Rex can guide the kid. Which is interesting because 
we do get guided by Rux through his narration, but the narration is actually him telling... But the shards can make it better. They're like smaller doses of the core's medicine. It's him telling the story afterwards. Which could be like a weird timey-wimey, wibbly-wobbly thing. Or Rux could have some kind of, you know, magic or, or something like that that's never explained. Not really sure. Shame the only place to fill that prescription is out here in the wilds. This place is intoxicating. It sure is. Don't know where he's gone. Might be gone for good for all I know. We do get more of Zia's song though. Wherever he is. Oh, Somewhere until now. Live. Somewhere I never want to go. Whoa. How these guys work. Oh, hey, Zia. Siren. Dead. Welcome him with open arms. seen too much I'm Zolf of the Ura pleased to make your acquaintance wow that's great now the kids see something stranger still did anybody else survive are you guys getting any of sure this? enough he finds Do I need 
to here at Crystal Monument. No. Oh, okay. Uh, up here. Oh, yeah, sure. Now the Bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. Kid sets foot inside one of Ceylandia's famous watering holes. He has the nerve to flash the shield he stole. The security's just gonna have to straighten it out. Huh. It's interesting. The, uh... Hard ass. Like, the... Right for the uh, little squirt launcher here. Looks very stretched. Like there's no way out. I thought I healed in ten minutes. Oh well. Uh, like it looks like they have just scaled up the other one when it was designed to be displayed at the smaller size. Come on, reload. Kid succeeds where the calamity failed. I think I need to Would you look at what him, he yeah. did to poor old Ronnie the bartender? Proper story is supposed to start at the beginning. It's so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world's all right, snoozing there on a rock in the sky. He wakes up. I'm just fooling. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. He sees what's left of Piff the Bull. You know, if I'm honest, I've never. The gods, they're all undone. Never really he sees what's understood left of this part of the game. I just had a thought, like, I can't walk through other me. Which I thought, like, what happens if he dies right here where he would take up the whole pathway? But you can kind of roll to get around that. He sees... What's left? What's left? I'm done.
thought we'd lost him, but he finally comes to. Of course he does. He's the kid. The shard ain't lost either. Not anymore. Now to find a ticket out of this hole. Aww. Boot lickers dig their nasty thorns into his heels. Disgusting things. Ever heard of the Lung Blossom? It's bigger than the stories say. The breath on that thing, like a scumbag sprung a leak. like a proper boss fight right there. I'm not sure why it's forcing me to be zoomed out so far here though. can make it lose your mind. Well, a kid prunes it down the size somehow. Regular old boss fight we Mother got there. knows what happened in the bog. Kid never much cared to speak of it. Then how are you telling the story, Rex? A shard is like a poor man's core, but beggars can't be choosers. If it heals Sebastian, that's all we need. That's it. A few more shards like that, and we'll be back in business. A single shard can breathe new life into this place. Mm -hmm. The shard's got enough juice to spruce up any of these places. The True Forge grants access to two additional upgrade tiers, unlocking the full potential of each weapon. The True Arsenal grants access to the Trapper's Snare, a powerful secret skill. The True Distillery grants access to potent spirits from the private reserve. The True Memorial grants access to variants of new vigils to in remembrance of the calamity. The Gravers, the arm of justice, they seemed unstoppable. The True Shrine grants access to new idols to the most elusive members of the Pantheon. And the True Lost and Found grants access to additional inventory including new spirits. Okay, I'm going to go with the Forge for now. Ain't saying much, but that's the greatest forge in all the city. True. Um, let's see. What do we have? We have about oh, seventeen hundred. Um, yeah, so. 
I want to try and get the slinger pistols upgraded a bit. The city tried to use the shards to stake out the wild. So much for that plan. So, to wrap up this episode, I think we'll see if we can go get some upgrade materials here. We have to think fast to survive the wilds, and now we've gone faster than the slingers. They could shoot their pistols with the speed of a machine. I don't remember what this challenge is, though. They knew just when to start shooting, and when to stop. Oh, got it. Wait, what? I am Those supposed to shoot the things of me. Just as quick as you could pull the trigger. This is not going to be a very good first round, but. Learning to hold your fire can be its own challenge. got the upgrade so and that one uh, it's probably not that terribly interesting to watch so if I need well, to come the back there weren't quick enough to escape the calamity I will uh, do it off camera but now we can get a second level here faster reloads or more He's damage made a right comfortable bed for all those bullets Alright, let's, yeah, let's do one more, and then we'll end the episode. Shard detected. Ankle gators used to roam the wilds, and they nested in Ruthless Lagoon. Many a tale folks used to scare their children straight originated here. All kinds of beasts were don't know up from down, still looking about. How are you st Okay, I was just gonna say, how is this plant still alive after machete? Only the city's brushes knew their way around the lagoon. Wait, oh sneaky boy. Ha ha. These beasts, they don't like company. Oh. Can't get hasty in a place like this. Learn to fear this place. Thrilling combat, huh? There we go. They used to think that ankle gators were extinct. been living in the tall grass. They called her Queen Anne. Hip. Hip. 
That one was just fun. You know. Turns out Queen Anne got a hold of a shard. Ankle gators love shiny things. Know what smells worse than an ankle gator's breath? A stink weed. Oh, you know what? I can do with that. It's much more effective. Just throw my machete. The lagoon's got plenty of other dangers, of course. The wear risky active, it only takes one machete throw. Can't to get fight those Queen guys. Anne with the proper tools. The brushers use their pipes to keep their distance time. around here. Now the kid can do the same. They say you can't hurt an ankle gator unless it's raining. And it ain't raining. Sharp sticks make Queen Anne nervous, so she backs off a bit. Oh, I can throw the spear. Oh, I can actually reach out to that platform. Kid's got a mean throwing arm. Those pin cushions been living off the ankle gator scraps. Queen Anne can't fit down some of these narrow paths. Kid into some kind of twisted trap. One bad step in that tall grass, and he's Queen Anne's lunch. He holds his ground. Seems the Queen's running out of options. He takes off after her. Fast as he can. The closer you get to an ankle gator's lair, the thicker the tall grass grows. Those leaping lunkheads don't like Queen Anne any better than the kid. That old gator's right on his tail. Oh no. Uh, I knew that was gonna happen. The queen's got one mean bite. scared a bunch of peckers out of hiding. Seems even stinkweeds know to stay away from the queen. Yeah, I feel like I'm not saying much. I'm just concentrating very hard. I am concentrating very hard. I know I'm doing that. care for their young. That's why there ain't many around. Wanna know how to find an ankle gator lair? They use a kid as bait. Oh, how wonderful. The shard's sitting in plain view. Now she's coming for him. She's got nowhere else to go. They say if you run across an ankle gator, you better keep running. She 
you starting to get annoyed. Oh, missed. I think it hurt her when I fell on her, though. She wasn't mad before? Ah, oh, stop. You stopped too. I had enough of all of you. Queen Anne. That was for the brushes. For Kids the brushes. done what needed to be done. Queen Anne's reign is over. We even got a crown jewel. Yes, yes, we did. A crown jewel. All that trouble for a single shard. But you know what? It was worth it. It was a pretty fun fight, though. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the lost and found. So we, oh, so we can hopefully We buy need an awful big lost and found under the circumstances. More goodies. Asia about the massive egg from Rothas Lagoon. Do you think an ankle gator could be tamed? That gator is a crazy gal, but so is the gal who promised to look after her. <laughs> yeah. See, it takes it as a pet. They said Queen Anne was just a folk tale. Now there's living proof she ain't. Yes, yes, there is. And, uh,. With that, we will end the episode here. So I will see you guys next time, and we will go hunting for more shards.